The need for more money for law enforcement is pointed up by statistics which show that the crime rate continues to rise. The largest increase has been in the number of bank robberies. There were three times as many bank robberies in fiscal year 1968 than 10 years before. The FBI conducted a special law enforcement conference here in Arlington today to talk to bank employees and law enforcement agencies about what they can do to help prevent robberies and help with investigations when robberies do occur. FBI agent in charge of the Dallas district, J. Gordon Shanklin, was asked by Channel 8 News why there has been such an alarming increase in bank robberies. The fact is one would be the uh, fact that a larger number of institutions are covered today. Also, the increase in the number of small banks in suburban areas are branch banks. And then, of course, the third thing is uh, lack of respect for law and order and the people deciding they want easy money. Walter McDonald, Channel 8 News. What about the robbers themselves? Is there anything in particular that you know about them as a cross-section? No, you can't say that uh, any one individual would be a typical robber. Uh, we find that still the typical robber today uh, is the lone individual going in and robbing one teller. In other words, rather than the gangs, but the gang-type bank robberies have also increased. Statistics show that uh, many of these people that rob banks have already been convicted of bank robbery before. Uh, is, is there too much leniency on the part of courts or parole boards? Well, of course, I can't make any statement as to that. Our job is to investigate. We do have a number of instances where individuals who are on parole uh, have robbed banks again. Congress passed a law this year which requires agencies regulating banks to establish minimum security standards. This, perhaps, will help cut down on robberies. In regard to Sheriff Evans' comments about needing money, some recent bank robbery investigations have cost a quarter of a million dollars each. This besides the money stolen and the loss of life. The most alarming fact of all is that while local agencies, the FBI, Congress, and practically everyone else work on this problem, it continues to grow. But of course, this just fits in with all the other growing problems in America that man so far has been unable to solve. Russell McDonald, Channel 8 News.
Like everything else, I guess it's the money to pay law enforcement officers and the money to train law enforcement officers. We've been able to get federal money to train prisoners in uh, trades where they uh, may follow a profitable life when they get out, but uh, to date we've had uh, quite a bit of difficulty in obtaining money to train men to catch these men. Terrence County Sheriff Lon Evans. The need for additional money for law enforcement agencies is pointed up by statistics which show that all types of crime continues to rise. The biggest increase has been in the number of bank robberies. In the last fiscal year, there were nearly 1,800 bank robberies. This is three times as many as just 10 years earlier. Because of this increase, the FBI has been concentrating in its law enforcement conferences on bank robberies. Today, over 200 bankers, their employees, and law enforcement officers from the local areas met here at the Spanish Inn to talk about bank robberies, how to prevent them, and what to do when one does occur.